Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial. In this video, we're going to learn how to connect Lovable to N8N using an HTTP request node. This method helps you send data from Lovable directly into your N8N workflow for automation. We'll walk through each step slowly and clearly. First, you need to have an account on both Lovable and N8N. Make sure you're signed into both platforms before starting. If you don't already have an account on either one, you can create one for free by visiting their websites. Now, the next step is to get a webhook URL. This is the link where Lovable will send its data. You can use a webhook URL from Make N8N or another service. For this tutorial, let's use a sample URL. It looks like this. You'll paste this link into the HTTP request node in N8N. Open your N8N editor. Start by creating a new workflow. Click the plus button to add a new node. Search for HTTP request and select that. Once you have the HTTP request node open, go to the URL field and paste the webhook URL you got earlier. This is where N8N will send the data. Next, scroll down to the headers section. Click the Add button. In the Name field, type Content Type. In the Value field, type Application JSON. This tells the receiving system that we are sending data in JSON format. Now, move to the Body Content Type section and select RAW. Then choose JSON as the data type. In the Body Parameters section, you can now enter your JSON data. This is the information that Lovable would normally send. Things like the user's name, email, form responses or other custom fields. You can adjust these values based on the actual data you collect in Lovable. If your Lovable form has more fields, just match them here in the JSON format. Once you've entered the URL, header and body, you're ready to test. If the webhook is working, you should receive a successful response. That means the data was sent correctly. From here, you can build out the rest of your N8N workflow. You can add nodes to store the data, send an email, update a Google Sheet, or even trigger more complex actions. That's it. You've now connected Lovable to N8N using an HTTP request node. With this setup, you can automate many tasks and connect Lovable to hundreds of other apps. This method is simple, flexible, and doesn't require code. 